And India's premier space agency has concluded the final test for the Gaganyaan rocket. The rocket is now certified for missions that can carry humans into space and the organization has also completed the human rating of the rocket's CE-20 cryogenic engine. CE-20 engine will be used to power Gaganyaan's launch vehicle, the LVM-3. And to qualify human rating standards, four CE-20 engines underwent 39 hot firing tests under different conditions. The test ran for at least 8,810 seconds as opposed to the qualification standard of just 6,350 seconds. The CE-20 was put to test at the agency's propulsion complex in India, state of Odisha. In fact, the seventh round of checks were held at the high-altitude test facility to simulate flight conditions. Listen in. India has a lot of rockets that are powered by liquid-fueled engines. So basically, liquid-fueled engines are the most sophisticated to master. It is his center, the liquid propulsion system center that actually develops these engines for Indian rockets. So we're joined by Dr. Narayanan, the director of the center. So kindly tell us, you've uh, readied all the engines that are required for the Gaganyaan program. They're just raring to go, right? Yeah. So if you take Gaganyaan, and the developments are, first we have to human rate the LVM-3 vehicle. LVM-3 vehicle is having three propulsion system, two solid motors and there is a core liquid stage and the cryogenic upper stage. Now, if you take all the engines are human rated. For example, one thing I can tell, if you take cryogenic upper stage, in four engines, we have carried out something around 40 numbers of tests and we have accumulated 9,000 seconds of test data. All tests are successful and today we have declared the engine is human rated. Take the core liquid stage, something around 25 tests are completed and we have totally completed the development and qualification and we have declared the human rated yellow and stage. Same way, solid motor also, we have completed the test. Thereby, in nutshell, all the propulsion systems of the vehicle is human rated. Now, after liquid-fueled engines, ISRO is now keen on developing methane engines. Currently, two locked methane engines are in the works at the agency. One of the two projects is trying to convert the existing cryogenic engines like the CE-20 into a methane engine. Here's more. So also you're developing methane LOX engines for the future rockets. So tell us more. Yeah, it is the, for the new generation launch vehicle, which is going to be powered by a liquid oxygen and methane propulsion system. It has got a engine working on liquid oxygen and methane with 110 tons of thrust. And the first stage will be powered by nine engines. Second stage will have two engines, upper stage will have one engine. It is a modular concept. Right now, we are in the process of completing the design of the engine. In fact, during the COVID time, we conceived a 20 ton engine. We carried out all the experiments and we have derived a lot of data. Right now, we are in the process of completing the design of the engine and going for manufacturing through Indian.